How's everybody doing? I'm Aaron Finnell. I'm a personal trainer here at the MAC. Um, I'm certified through National Academy of Sports Medicine and I love personal training. It's a passion of mine. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a proper squat and a proper deadlift. Uh, squats and deadlifts are two of the most vital lifts. Anybody trying to improve strength, and improve uh, core, improve balance over the overall body, you have to train your legs. And squats a good way to train the legs. Deadlift is a great way to train legs, lower body. Both of them are explosive lifts. Um, full body lifts. So I'm going to show you how to do a proper squat and deadlift. Right. So a squat is really going to engage quad, hamstring, glute, uh, calf, abductors. It's a great, great, great way to work the lower body, strengthen it. <coughs> I'm going to demonstrate first without the weight. So with a squat, you want your body to be symmetrical. About shoulder width apart, you want balance. So when, when you go down the squat, you want to try to keep your back as straight as possible. So, this is a squat. So you want to go down, you want to come up. You want to go down, you want to come up. A lot of people make the mistake of going too low or going not, not, not going low enough. So what you really want to aim for is right about 90 degrees or a little bit lower. So you want to be here, you want to be there. And you really want to explode through your heels and not your toes. So you can use, so you engage all the muscles in the body. So you're going to be here, right there, straight up. Right there, straight up. Form is imperative because with the squat, you can actually, a lot of injuries can happen. So you want to make sure your form is proper. So, first demonstrate, just looking like forward view. So you're going to be here, try to keep the head up, you're down. You're up. You're down. You're up. So you can get a view from the side. Notice how I'm exploding through my legs. You really want to use the explosion. It's explosive lift. So you really want to explode through your legs. Head up. Waist down. Right up about 90. Explode. Bring your hips with it. Real easy. Great, great, great lift for, great lift for legs. Great lift for the entire body. Alright. With the deadlift, deadlift is another another explosive exercise. With the deadlift, <coughs> you really want to focus on form because if your form's not proper with the deadlift, you can have an injury as well. So with the proper deadlift, feet about shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knee. And what you really what you want to do is act like you're sticking your butt out, but you want to Stick it out so that your back is straight. So you're going to be here, right there, come up through the hips. Here, come up through the hips. From the side, you're going to be here, straight down, come up through the hips. Here, come up through the hips. So you want to be here. I like to do one hand over, one hand under, like people have different preferences. I also like my grip to be about shoulder width apart. So I have a slight bend in my knee. Slight bend in my knee, shoulders nice and back, head up. Make sure you keep your head up. You're gonna go down. I like to go right below the knee. Come up, slow through the hip. Down, slow through the hip. So you can see how my form is looking from the side here, right here. Slight bend in the knee. Down, explode through the hip. Down, explode through the hip. Be very careful because with deadlifts, you don't want to do a weight that you can't do because then you'll have an injury. So make sure you get a nice comfortable weight for you. Um, as you get stronger, you can progress. But yeah, that's a proper squat and a deadlift. Um, any questions, email us or contact us, and we'll be sure to help you. Um, but squats, squats and deadlifts both are great lifts to incorporate in your workout routine. Um, they uh, help with the leg strength, overall body. So.